In this video, we will write the equation of a parallel or perpendicular line to a given line through a point. Let's remind ourselves of the definition of parallel and perpendicular. Parallel lines are lines that will never intersect. Perpendicular lines are lines that intersect at right angles. Remember in our investigation from class, we talked about the relationships of the slopes of parallel lines. Parallel lines have to have the same steepness. Therefore, their slopes have to have the same value. So for lines L and M, both of those lines have a slope of 4. Line L and P are perpendicular. Lines M and P are perpendicular. How are 4 and negative 1 fourth related? We talked about in class that these types of slopes are negative reciprocals of one another. And that's how we know or how we can prove that those lines are perpendicular or not. So as we take a look at some examples of equations of lines, so notice we have a set of parallel lines. We know they're parallel because as we look at the equations, y equals 2x plus 4, and y equals 2x minus 10. Both of these equations are in that slope-intercept form. So we can tell right away our slope is 2 in this equation, and our slope is also 2 in this equation. Because they have equal slopes, we know that those equations or those lines must be parallel. These two equations are in point-slope form, where we have y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So in that equation, we know that m is equal to the slope. So here we see we have 3 and negative 1 third. The word negative means that they are opposite signs from one another. So 1 is positive, 1 is negative. The reciprocal word here means they are the flips of one another. If we were to flip one-third, we would get 3 over 1, which is just 3. So they have to be opposite signs and the flips of one another. So if we have negative one-half, its negative reciprocal would be a positive 2 over 1, which is the slope of the line that's perpendicular to it, which is here. That's how we can prove from the equation that those lines are either parallel or perpendicular by looking at the slopes. So let's practice writing some equations using that knowledge. We're going to write an equation in slope-intercept form for the line described. So we want the line that passes through the point 6, 2, but it's parallel to y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 1. So, we have two criteria that we need to meet. We need it to pass through the point, and it needs to be parallel to this line. So, being parallel means the two lines will have the same slope. We also know that it needs to pass through the point 6, 2. So, if our new line has a slope of negative 2 thirds as well, we can use the point and the slope to find its equation. And we do that using point-slope form. y minus the y value of the point is equal to m, our slope, times x minus x1, which is the x value of the point. Now that I've set up the linear equation, I just need to simplify it. So distribute the negative 2 thirds and add 2 to both sides. So now I have y equals mx plus b, where my slope is negative 2 thirds, which is the same as the negative 2 thirds from our first line. Notice the y-intercepts are different because it's not exactly the same line that we started with, it's just parallel to it. So y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 6 is parallel to y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 1 and passes through the point 6, 2. 
Now we want to write an equation in slope-intercept form that passes through negative 7, negative 4, and is perpendicular to y equals negative 1 half x plus 9. So these are the two criteria we need to meet. We know that it being perpendicular means the slopes will have to be negative reciprocals. So we have to find out what the negative reciprocal of negative 1 half is. So we take the negative 1 half, we flip it, which would be 2 over 1, and it needs to be the opposite sign, which means we're going to use a slope of positive 2. And it also has to pass through the point negative 7, 4. So this is the point and the slope that we use in point-slope form. It's y minus y1, so minus a negative becomes a positive, equals 2 times x minus a negative 7 becomes x plus 7. From here, distribute the 2 and subtract 4. So y equals a positive 2x plus 10 is our equation that passes through negative 7, negative 4 and has a slope of 2, which will be perpendicular to the line that we were given. y equals 2x plus 10 is perpendicular to y equals negative 1 half x plus 9. We know that because of the slopes being negative reciprocals, and it passes through negative 7, negative 4. I want you to try these two on your own problems. Next we have some important notes about vertical and horizontal lines. Vertical lines are always perpendicular to horizontal lines, just like these red and blue lines here. This blue vertical line, no matter where I move it, will always be perpendicular to that horizontal line, no matter where I move it. A vertical line will always be parallel to another vertical line. So if I have two vertical lines, no matter where I move that second vertical line or that first vertical line, those two lines are always parallel. It works the same for horizontal lines. Any horizontal line will always be parallel to another horizontal line. And here are some practice problems to write some hoys and vuxes using the properties of parallel and perpendicular.